Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate and here we are guys, another weekend, another AT. So I thought I'd do a little bit thing a bit different. Uh, instead of trying to show you how I start and how the game does, I just show you the ending of how I did it. So um, I have a few hours and I decided look I played for three hours last night and here I am. Had to do another maybe three to five prestigious to get to 85,000. And like I said, guys, if you're able to farm this, that's all you need, all right? You don't really have to go anything further. So let me just quickly show you how I do my runs. So basically, this is gonna be the max. I'll just quickly do a prestige, show you what I do. So when it comes to these circumstances, you just have to upgrade all of these bad boys, get it all going. Uh, there we go, oh, I don't even have enough, but it is what it is. And all you have to do is hit the 25 and then five on everything before you start. Uh, some people start early, I, I prefer not to uh, because it's, it's still a very early game so you're not gonna be able to get uh, a longer uh, timing for your skills and I'm not in a rush, okay? I think if you're trying to rush within an hour or two to get this uh, completed, then by all means, definitely do that in the background where you're swiping and then upgrading these bad boys. But for video purposes, I'm just gonna show you what's happening. And then bang, bang, bang. And all you have to do is make sure that this matches. So your strongest hero, which is there, and get your contracts going. Just look at it fly, guys. And it just powers right straight through drastically. Change it back to range, and you'll be able to see it just fly by with the numbers. And so that's how you do these uh, tournaments, especially Companion Frenzy. It gives you a insight into what an ultra speed clan ship build can be like. All right, so this was a clan ship build. And look at that, guys. You can just bang. And before you know it, in less than a minute, you're already back at your max level. So when you're back at, back at your max level, you don't really have to worry. Just keep going, keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Pick up the speed, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yep, there you go. I'm back at the top of all of it. And that is how easy it is to let it go. So when you see a bit of a slowdown, it's probably because of this bad boy not uh, upgrading. Can you see how much is upgrade? And once you upgrade your heroes, it will go a lot faster. And let's come on, come on, speed up. So yeah, as you can tell, once it gets towards the higher level of things, it just slows down dramatically. And obviously my contract was not on, but even when it's on, you can tell it's really not going anywhere. So you'll probably get another 100 or maybe 200 or 500 maximum. And then you have to prestige all over again. And it's very, very taxing. So I don't even try and do this because for you to get to where these guys are at, you probably have to do another 20 to 30 prestigious or use the trick of if you have more than 2000 diamonds that you sell off all of these, hit maximum on your relics. I'll show you what I mean. So you hit get max spend on Book of Shadows, you max it all the way out, and then you get a Mighty Chest. Once you click on a Mighty Chest, now you do the 25-5 after you prestige, okay? So once you prestige and, and you're back at where you are before, max the Book of Shadows out, hit the Mighty Chest, come back and do a 25-5, and you're gonna be able to push out dramatically more uh, than you would have using any other way. So that's it guys, I just thought I'll show you how it is to get to level 10, farm that bad boy, and your Gucci for the day. So don't worry about the placement, you get number 1, you get number 1, you get number 2 to 10, who cares, as long as you're farming at level 10. Because this is going to sooner or later become something that's going to be obsolete, where they're going to have to change the AT all over again because they've literally shown everyone how to play it. And showing everyone how to play with the um, guide, that's only so much you can do. And guys, the new update should probably come in two or three days. Once this transcendence ends, I believe the update should be coming during that time. I don't think they've told us exactly when it's coming, but I'm banging on the fact that they're gonna reset everything at one go as this is going to be a huge update. And I see a lot of people asking at lower levels, how am I gonna get levels? How am I gonna get higher? This is your answer. Wait for the next update. Don't stress, it's gonna be absolutely amazing for you. Alrighty guys, that's all for me today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you come all the, all the way to the end, make sure you just drop a like, subscribe. That will help me a lot. Put me in the algorithm so that more people will watch it and I can continue making this into a bigger dream. Alright, thank you guys. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.